the art room, but our viewers will recognise you, of course, from Country oh, Gardens. Yes, Country Gardens. And yes. you're also an artist. I'm an artist. I've been an artist all my life. Have you really? Yep, self-taught, so mm -hmm. it's one of my passions. Fantastic. And I run courses from my studio at home. Um, I've been doing it for about two years, and I specialise in watercolours and pencil sketching. Beautiful. And the big thing is, a lot of people don't think they can draw. Can you draw? No. No. <laughs> I can, awesome. I can't. <laughs> awesome. That's that's what I want. That's that's the type of people I like to teach because it's such a big thing when they learn to draw. Okay. Because everyone can draw. Okay? That's a big statement. Everyone can draw. Everyone can draw. I'll explain how that happens. Okay. What happens is when you're a child, you draw to your heart's content. You get a crayon or pencil and you scribble away and you're quite happy. There's no expectation. Mm -hmm. You enjoy what you're doing. And that's what it's like for an artist. Is that when you learn to draw, that's what it's actually like. You get a lot of enjoyment out of it. So, but what happens is when you start to develop and you become an adolescent and you want to draw something, um, you, you've put a lot of expectation on yourself. You mm -hmm. want it to look exactly what you're copying. <laughs> if you haven't got any skill or been trained, not skill, if you haven't had the training, um, the techniques, you get very frustrated at that point. You screw it up, you throw it away, and you say, I can't draw. Yeah, and then you give up, don't you? You yeah. give up, and that gets locked in. Now, the, the thing is, that gets locked in on a part of your brain, which is your analytical side, mm -hmm. and basically, that's on the left side of your brain. Your brain's basically left brain, right brain, yes. left, right hemispheres. Now, on the right side, that's where your art comes from, okay. your music, your imagination, all of those things. Mm -hmm. Now, what I do, if you're a student, you're coming to me, I'd say, I've, I've got to break that belief down that you can't draw. Okay. You, know, you say, I can't even draw to save myself. <laughs> so what I do is I say, okay, we'll use this cube. I've got, got this cube here. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we look at that cube and you look at the front square. It's an optical illusion and it'll flip to the back. Okay? Yes. So once you see it flip to the back, that's picked up on the right side of your brain. Okay. Can only be picked up on that part of the brain where your art comes from. So that's like a key I use to say to a person, if you can pick that up, and everyone can. Okay, this is my next question. Everyone can. Everyone pick that up. Good. can, mm -hmm. unless you've got some damaged brain, mm. brain, brain injury in that part. But everyone can get that. Okay. okay. So then that proves that everyone can draw because that's where your art comes from. Okay. So then we start to work. That breaks that belief down. So then I'm free to start to teach them the techniques. And that's what we're going to learn today. We're going to learn to, to construct a face because there are techniques mm -hmm. and they're always the same. Once you learn the techniques, you don't have to relearn them. And then it's just a matter of um, practicing. Okay. Practicing. You see? <laughs> so we're going to be doing a face today. Yep. Isn't a face one of the hardest things to draw? Not really because the measurements are all measurements. Everything's the same. Your line of your eye, your nose and your mouth. And then we just change the shapes of the... No, whatever. We'll, make it we'll have a, so we'll have a fun. easy, Mark. Oh we'll my goodness, fun. I'm getting quite nervous about this. So make sure that you stay with us in the break. Uh, go and grab your art supplies, and you could do this with me as well because we'll be back drawing with Mark and also with Jane Craft. So we'll see you after the break.